The low voltage beeper is hanging there like a ball, <laughs> like a ball sack, and I can actually rub it on the floor. Oh, oh that's going to be painful if those were real. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum and greetings. All right, now that my little 3D printed cruiser quadcopter is flying and doing very well, actually cruising all by itself without me touching anything, uh, it's time to see how long it will fly on a 5,000 milliamp battery. So I have strapped a 5,300 milliamp battery right under it. Now the only worry for me is because it's a 3D printed PLA, a material quadcopter. I hope the uh, motors don't get hot to melt or soften the uh, PLA material and come off during the time it's flying. Well, but hey, it's worth a try still. Let's fly it and see how long it will fly on 5300 milliamp 4S battery. And uh, <laughs> I have only like eight screws holding everything on the um, frame and I have three screws per motor. Uh, I couldn't find four screws. Uh, for each motor. Anyway, so far it's flying. Let's see how it goes. Take off in GPS position hold mode? Yes. And my timer will start automatically on the radio control. It's a little heavy. Yes, I can hear the motors screaming now. So, I'm gonna put it to cruise control, <laughs> cruise mode. One moment, let me put it on GPS and reduce the gains. Wow, I had to reduce the gains a lot, man, because now motors are working really hard. All right, cruise mode. There we go. I think by pushing the elevator or pitch just a little bit, it goes faster, picks up speed, and ooh, <laughs> and it's still the camera stays level actually, so you don't have to put any kind of pitch on the camera. Oh, that was too close to the grass. Check it out, it's flying really fast now, it's picking up speed. I'm getting scared that it will dismantle itself in the air. <laughs> Honestly speaking, I don't have to do much of the pitch control, it's just doing most of the time itself. If I push a little bit forward on the pitch, it starts getting really fast because the rear propellers, they actually go almost vertical pushing it forward I mean that kind of thrust mode in that kind of thrust angle I should say not thrust mode thrust angle so far NASA seems to be doing a really good job <laughs> controlling this strange contraption Wow, as I punch the throttle, it gets really faster. There's a guy with no regard of his own safety walking in his daddy's apartment, maybe. So I'm just going to keep the quadcopter right around myself. I don't like to test flight times by hovering something because that's what most of the uh, sellers do they will hover the quadcopter only and say wow look at this my quadcopter can fly 60 minutes or that and this no hovering a quadcopter can hover for a very long time because it's not using its power okay something is happening the quad is diving down diving down I'm gonna put it on GPS position hold mode now so I'm just flying, flying it around 
to see the flight times on this one. All right. I don't know, it was trying to fall at one direction. So I'm just gonna keep it in GPS position hold mode now. And let NASA handle it while I fly, fly it around. Wow, it gets really quick. Just a little pinch of forward pitch and it gets really fast. So far, four minutes. I think the 5,300 milliamp is a little bit heavy for this baby. A little heavy. It will do a better job with a 3,300 milliamp. Man, flying FPV on this one is gonna be super duper fun because you're not gonna see any propeller in the view. They are hanging right up above the camera they are spinning right above the camera so you're not gonna see any propeller but uh, I did 3d print a v2 of this one which has a bit wider arms and not this much high on the front they are laying low but much wider and similarly on the back I have uh, probably increased the angle a bit for additional thrust and also made them uh, stand a bit wider away from each other so I can spin bigger propeller. After testing the V1 and destroying it, I will bring the V2 out. <laughs> Man, I'm loving it. It's flying really well. So far, no beeps. Wow, look at it getting speed. The low voltage beeper is hanging there like a ball, <laughs> like a ball sack, and I can actually rub it on the floor. Oh, oh that's gonna be painful if those were real. <laughs> wow, the way it picks up speed, man, I simply love it. Now I'm getting the hang of its behavior. Yes, now I'm getting the hang of its behavior. It doesn't like to turn really fast. It will get into some tumbling motion and maybe flip over. So you have to be smooth and gentle on the sticks. Mix those values, mix those channels, elevator, ailerons, and rudder control with throttle. All four mix it up and it makes beautiful turns and keeps up the speed without actually having to have too much of forward pitch. Now the uh, low voltage alarm is gonna come on very soon I believe. I see NASA LED blinking. I'm going to hover it sometime now. I've been flying for eight minutes. I 
touch the ball sack on the water. <laughs> Let's fly it around until the beeper comes on. How is the sideways flying performance? Not bad. I don't feel any difference basically. Ah, yes, it gets into forward motion then. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, it gets into that tumble kind of thing. How about backward flying? Backward, it starts climbing actually. We are on 10 minutes mark now. Still no low voltage beeper. The NASA battery is doing it. I see 3.6 volts on the low voltage. Uh, low voltage beeper. I see 3.6 volt. So pretty soon it should come on. Needs more throttle to hover. It's 11 minutes now. Man, it's still flying. Nice. Let me see the low voltage beeper. 3.6, 3.7. Three point six, all fourteen point five. We'll fight until fourteen point two. I think when it goes forward, it uses very less battery because you're not actually pushing on the pitch. It's just forward rotors are balancing it and giving it thrust and lift, probably or leveling and the rear rotors are pushing together with leveling. All right, low voltage beeper came on. So we're gonna land. Twelve minutes, 49 seconds. Not bad. 12 minutes 49 seconds, not bad, not bad. Given that the battery is a little bit heavy, I believe I will get better flight times on a 3300 milliamp or 3000 milliamp 4S, which I have one, one or two on the way I just ordered, and I will see what is the flight times like.